Hey guys, I am back today with a new plate from Lantern and Wren. This is Lantern and Wren Layers of Nature. So as this implies, this has a, a nature theme and a lot of layering images to go along with it. Um, right off the bat, we see right here this one. You, so now you've seen like the techniques that you can do with this, the, the full square, full rectangle image. You can put like dots of polish and scrape and get like rainbowy effects or marbled effects. So play around with that. Um, the wood grain is really cool. I love this flock of birds. Definitely use that as background or over some of the other images on this plate. Uh, a different kind of uh, flock of birds. This is more of a seagull. And then you've got the moon in the clouds, which is, is really pretty to just, you know, quickly put over like a darker manicure. So here, this is designed to do different layers um, across your nail uh, sky. I think you got a couple layers of mountain, then maybe a layer of grass or a lake below the mountain. Um, for me, what I would <clears throat> probably do, I think you could have your base color be whatever color you want it to be down here. So maybe even just like um, a white or a neutral color. And then you could stamp, you know, your different mountain colors. And then maybe, because she's got these down here, you could stamp a layer of trees at the very base of this, maybe something like that. Um, I also think, though, that you could do this with all kinds of different colors and just have abstract kind of patterns on your nails. So you could do this in pop art colors and it looks like pop art stripes and you could put something else on top of it. Or you could do it in shades of like blue going down your nails and get a sort of a gradient, a more of a striped gradient effect. So play around with that, but um, definitely it looks to me like it's meant to be skies and mountains and things. Um, some beautiful fir trees and a, a full nail image and then you've got more kind of blocky 60s kind of or 50s retro sort of trees here and a full nail image and then that goes with these that I really love which are layering images so these are the stems that go with that these are the stems that go with that and they are all a little bit different but you could stamp these in different colors um, you could do of course different shades of green but you could do you know pinks and yellows and and have all kinds of fun um, looks at that for different times of the year or whatever you want to do. Um, then there's the grass and the trees that you can stamp over other things to layer. Um, little bitty like to make your own kind of full nail background -y images you've got. I would probably use this as a background image and stamp you know this in a lighter color and then stamp other things like maybe these trees or something over it more or maybe like this, this cute bear, the deer, that kind of stuff. Um, love this just for kind of a texture image and I think that's really really cool and then here's another full nail one with little mooses and all kinds of fun stuff that you could just stamp you know very simply in like brown over green or something like that for if you're gonna go camping um, you know all that kind of stuff life was meant for great adventures I agree fun little arrow there love this little bear with so cute and then you've got a hive like so maybe the bear is staring up at the hive although you've got some scale issues there but you know work with me work with me uh, escape to the unknown you know so, so some cute little sayings there um, trees that you can layer together to to make a, a multi sort of dimensional effect um, if you're using different colors to get them back across your nails or just all kinds of pretty different trees for fall you could do them in white for winter you know just whatever season you want to do depending on the colors that you're choosing and then you've got some little animals that can run and flock amongst the trees um, I think this would be really a super cute manicure just like a little mushroom on one nail a little fox on another I think that's adorable just on its own the deer are super cute and you can layer those so you can get it you know brown and then black over it to really punch that this little mushroom oh so lots of stuff here to combine play around with um, oh and I should have said like here's cherry blossom over um, your branches of course you could stamp that as a flower on the edge of your bl your branches if you want to so you know why be why limit yourself right why limit yourself all right so let me go do a couple of test looks all right let's take a look at the sample looks I did so this one I wanted to try out that mountain building scene so I did a uh, little bit of sky, a little bit of mountains, a little bit of foliage there, some trees and some grass. All right, in this one, I wanted to test out like a gradient of fall leaves with the trees. I love how this came out. Actually, it looks so pretty. And then for my last test look, I wanted to do a little Bambi scene frolicking in the, in the grass with the little birds uh, flying on by. So lots of fun stuff you can do with this, especially if you like building scenes. Um, so check it out, and I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching.